it's the weekend and I haven't done any vlogging so today I'm gonna do some household chores like mowing the lawn cleaning's already done I'm gonna have to go buy some wood and I think today is the day I'm gonna build that shelving system in our storage room for food and stuff all right I'm finally gonna do it I'm gonna build the second shelf right here I just need to get some supplies about six more two by fours some some plywood and some screws I'm gonna get this built and organize this room a little bit so I went and got the supplies right there I got in my car and started it up and the gauge cluster was dead I had no speedometer no gas gauge no electronics up there so that sucked uh, I thought I needed to get a fuse so I went to AutoZone and I don't know where the fuses are in those things I guess I could have looked it up in the manual but whatever and the guy was super helpful there pulled the fuse out said it was good and that worried me and he plugged it back in and everything turned on so I learned where the fuses are in my car for those things and now I think I can change it myself if that happens again. You learn something new every day. First thing I need to do is clear this area out. Now I'm gonna build it. All right, got it built. It was pretty difficult uh, with one person, just me doing this. But it's done. And I got much more space. Now I'm gonna put everything back on it. I think it's done. I'm gonna start food storage here and up here. Got some ammo and all my camping gear down here. And my backpacks hanging up instead of our backpacks hanging up instead of on the floor over there. It's gonna be much nicer. The biggest reason I built this was for food storage. We've got rice here and some long-term things that are, will last 25 years. And we have some water, but... <clears throat> I just heard a noise. Um, but what I wanna do is start storing canned food stuff that we eat but will last a while on the shelf just in case we are without power for an extended amount of time we'll have the ability to eat something i've got a propane grill here and some propane canisters down there that's the idea behind it just to have a backup just in case and this shelf is going to help out a lot I definitely heard a loud noise, so I'll go see if I can find that. Something either fell or 
someone is here. And there it is. Startling. So Jeanette is gone for the rest of the weekend and I'm finding it very hard to motivate myself to do anything. After building this, I got a lot of cleaning up to do and I don't really want to do it. And I have other projects that I should work on, but I don't want to do it. I don't want to do anything. How do you motivate yourself to do stuff? I'd rather sit on the couch right now. I got this. Someone wants us to redo that to match that glass top coffee table we did. So it needs glued. So I should do that and I should glue. I got the got some glue uh, wood glue syringes and parts of that desk need glued together. I guess I could do that. It's a mirror we worked on last weekend. I could work on some of those coasters, get some backs put on. I could put this up, but I don't want to. I should clean. Well, I think I will work on some projects and then then I don't know. I'm not cleaning. I am not cleaning. But it's a mess. All right, I motivated myself and did a few things, like covered myself in wood glue. I glued that corner to that, and then I glued one of the the desktop, the top of that oh, one of these, this wooden desk I'm working on. I've got it clamped. I don't know if it's going to work. I'm this desk project might get scrapped because all the pieces are bad. I might as well just rebuild the whole desk out of brand new wood. I'm using a new mic. It's not new, I've had it a while, but I've not used it yet. So hopefully the audio is a little bit better. I'm unsure. So this is the first video where I'm using it. It's right here. So I was somewhat productive today, even though Jeanette wasn't here to help me be productive. I got a few things done, did a few projects, and I wanted to show you one thing. On our channel, we have a TV stand video where we turned a dresser into a TV stand. And we took our time on that. We actually wanted it to look nice because we use it in our living room. We wanted it to look good. Right there. And we sanded it and primed it, multiple coats of primer. But when you're painting wood, especially white, there's always a chance of this happening. And I'm gonna show you. That's underneath the clear coat we put on it. Like a stain from the wood. The wood stained the white and bled through. And there's another spot right here. That's a stain. There's another spot right there. So if you're planning on painting something made out of wood, real wood, white, you gotta plan for that. Maybe extra coats of primer would have helped. I don't know, but 
because we aren't selling it, we didn't sell it, it's not a big deal, but if we were to sell that, I don't, I don't know if I'd be able to sell it like that. Just something to look out for when you're painting wood white. So that's it, I showered and I'm watching Rust Valley Restores on Netflix. And that's all I'm gonna do for the rest of the night. Thanks for watching, it's the end of the vlog.